You set that person up. So you applaud them when they're doing well, but then you fire them when they mess up. Right. Or you discipline them. So I was pondering on this because you kind of gave me a heads up. And here's the issue, in my opinion. Today at one o'clock, I have intentionally a part of a group of pastors in a virtual chat where I have a man who's an, who's now a consultant of our church who oversees and helps me with my soul, my emotional state. I can tell him anything and not worry about it. I can be in a group with other pastors who are relevant, know my situation. I know their situation. We can literally let that go. If I did that with the elders of our church or the leaders, I've now opened myself up, and this is part of the problem. And you have some great elders and Amazing. leaders. So, yeah. Amazing. I mean... But for them to not look differently upon me, right. see, that's the problem. It's human nature. But yet anyone can come to me as pastor, spew all the venom they want and everything about their life, yep. and I got to keep that secret. But as soon as I let anyone know of my imperfections or things that come short, now I have to be disciplined. Now the bishops have to come yeah. in. Now I have to be on a hiatus. Now I need to go take a month off. Now I get, And those things may be necessary. But now all of a sudden I'm stained, I'm incapable mm-hmm. And that's the culture. I'm not saying it's culture of HCC. I'm not saying it's culture of your church. I'm talking about the big C right, in, in America, which yeah. is what we know because I don't live in another country. Right. I live in Hamilton, Ohio, who's in the United <laughs> States of America. That would be the expectation. Yeah. So what do you think a pastor is going to do when he messes up? Yeah, He's, he's going to maybe talk to his wife, Yeah, but he's probably going to conceal that. Right. And now we got a problem. And it's like the movie Frozen, conceal, don't feel. You know that, right? Yeah. Your daughter, right? Hey, I got a little girl. We, <laughs> we, we don't let it out. Yeah. And that is definitely toxic. And we've created that culture because, I mean, I'm not picking on anybody in particular, but like our boards, like if we have a church, whether you've got a church sure. board or you got a church elder. What kind of culture is there? Or even if you just got a, a group of, you know, adults that sure. kind of you go to, they expect the pastor to mm-hmm. have mercy and right. grace on people but then that's not in return yeah. given to the But you pastor. want to know why many times leaders are power, have been power hungry. Oh, without a doubt. And they've not handled sin. We need to call it out. Mm-hmm. We need to call out evil. We need to call out sin. But when it comes to people messing up around us, how we deal that out is how we're going to receive that. Yeah. And that's biblical.